In today's lesson, you will have the opportunity to engage with authentic conversations, providing you with the most effective method for enhancing your ability to comprehend spoken English. Our aim is to furnish you with the necessary tools to acquire proficient skills and elevate your English proficiency, enabling you to speak like a native. Welcome to Speak Up Channel, where the learning really happens. Listen attentively and tell us how much you can understand the conversations. Let's begin our today's lesson. Look, Father, how about this bungalow? I like the garden. Yes, but there's no garage and nowhere to park my car, unless I leave it on the road. Look at your bedroom, Susan. It's really untidy. I like it, and it was Tim who left those books all over the floor, not me. Let's see that photo. Is that your family? Yes, that's my mother and father, and my two sisters, and that's my granddad behind. I think we should look at this house first. According to the details from the estate agent, it's got four rooms downstairs and three up. OK. It certainly looks as if it's got the most space. Is this where your parents live? It looks very grand. Oh, they don't own the whole house. Only the first two floors. The other two are flats. If you want to know what life was like back in 2006, you could ask people who were alive in that year. Only then, you'd be hearing about it through the filter of the present. So, if you want a more accurate truth, you have to go back in time and ask people in 2006 to describe it. Fortunately, that is exactly what the web services provider Yahoo has done. In 2006, the company collected more than 170,000 digital contributions from people and put them into the Yahoo time capsule. This capsule will be opened on Yahoo's 25th birthday, which is on March the 2nd, 2020. The Yahoo time capsule was the idea of internet artist and designer Jonathan Harris, who wanted to use it to create a digital fingerprint of the world in 2006, and in his words, explore and explain the human world. For 30 days from October the 10th to November the 8th, 2006, people contributed digital data, specifically text, audio images and videos to Yahoo for inclusion in the capsule. The data was structured around 10 universal themes. Love, sorrow, anger, faith, beauty, fun, past, hope, now and you. They answered questions like, what do you love? What makes you sad? What do you believe in? And who are you? Yahoo received a total of 170,857 contributions. It had initially planned to use a laser to transmit the contents of the time capsule into space from the Pyramid of the Sun, an ancient building in Teotihuacan, Mexico. Unfortunately, Mexican authorities refused to authorize this because of concerns for the historic site. Instead, Yahoo celebrated the capsule with a three-day event at Jemez Pueblo in New Mexico, during which it projected giant digital images of some of the capsule's contents onto the ancient canyon walls. Since the capsule was closed on November the 8th, 2006, it has been housed in the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. It will be opened on March the 2nd, 25 years after Yahoo was incorporated, and over a decade since its contributors submitted their answers. It will be interesting and perhaps unsettling to hear what they had to say and to consider how the world has changed since then. Episode 1 John is having lunch in a restaurant. 
Suddenly, he sees a beautiful girl at the next table. She is very beautiful. He wonders whether to speak to her. She smiles at him. Shall I speak to her? What will happen if John speaks to the girl? Episode two. Excuse me. Yes. May I join you? Of course. What's your name? Olga. Let's have some champagne. Lots of champagne. What will happen if John drinks lots of champagne? Episode three. Waiter, a bottle of champagne, please. Certainly, sir. Waiter, a bottle of champagne, please. Certainly, sir. Waiter, a bottle of champagne, please. Another bottle, sir. Darling. Yes. Let's go to the zoo. The zoo, but I've got to go to work. Work? How boring! We're going to the zoo. I want to see the snakes. What will happen if John goes to the zoo? Episode four. Look at those lovely snakes! Be careful! Don't lean over. Oh, I've dropped my bag. Where is it? Down there, by that green snake. Get it for me, darling. What? Do you love me? Ah,、uh, yes. Then get my bag. What will happen if John tries to get Olga's bag? Episode five. All right, I'll get it with my umbrella. Just a moment. Here you are, darling. I've got it, darling. Where are you? Where's she gone? That's funny. She's gone, and I don't know where she lives or anything. Perhaps her address is in her bag. I'll have a look. My God, what's this? A revolver. What shall I do? Perhaps I should go to the police. What will happen if John goes to the police? Episode six. John doesn't go to the police. He goes back to his office. Good afternoon, sir. Good evening, Mr. Armitage. You know what time it is? It's five o'clock. Yes, sir. Well, I met this girl, and we went to the zoo, and she dropped her bag in the snake pit, and I got it out with my umbrella, and she wasn't there any more, and there was a revolver in her bag. Girl, zoo bag, snakes revolver, that's it. You've gone too far. I'm sorry, Mr. Armitage, but you'll have to go. You can't do this to me. Oh yes, I can. Get out. Oh no, you can't. I've got a revolver. Hey, what are you doing? No, don't shoot. What will happen if John shoots his boss? Episode seven. John shoots his boss. He takes twenty thousand pounds out of the office safe, leaves the office, and takes a taxi to the airport. First class to San Francisco, please.、Uh, one way or round trip. One way. What time is the flight? Six thirty, sir. Good. Time for a drink. A、large whiskey, please. John sits down with his whiskey. Suddenly, he sees a beautiful girl at the next table. She is very beautiful. He wonders whether to speak to her. She smiles at him.
happen if John speaks to the girl? We hope you have enjoyed our program. Subscribe for more helpful content and come to learn English with us.